Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will determine a fractional part of a number. Find one third of 15 eggs. We need to find part of a whole or a fraction of a number. Let's start by making 15 eggs. We only need one third of them. Let's go ahead and separate them into three eggs. Now, we only need one out of every three eggs. We need three more eggs because it says one out of every three or one third. So one, two, three, and we need one. Let's make another set of three because we have a denominator of three. Now we need one of the three eggs. Let's make another set of three eggs and we need one third of them. Another set of three eggs and we need one third of them. Let's check how many eggs is one third of 15. One, two, three, four, five. We can say one third of 15 eggs is five eggs. So one third of 15 equals five. Find one fourth of 12 apples. Remember, we need to find a fraction of a number or part of a whole. Let's start by making the 12 apples. Now this fraction says one out of every four or one fourth. So let's separate four apples and we need one out of every four or one fourth. Let's make another set of four apples. We need one of the four or one fourth. Here we have another set of four apples and we need one fourth of them. We can say that one fourth of 12 apples is one, two, three apples. So one fourth of 12 equals three. Find half of 10 carats. We need part of a whole or a fraction of a number. So let's show 10 carats. Now we only need half of them. So let's go ahead and separate them into two because the denominator is a two. We need one out of every two carats. Two more and we need one out of every two or half. Two more and we need half of two, which is one. Two more and half of two is one. Lastly, another set of two and we only need one half, so one. Let's count, one, two, three, four, five. So we can say half of 10 carats is five carats. One half of 10 equals five. Find one eighth of 24 oranges. We need to find part of a number or a fraction of a whole. Let's start by making 24 oranges. Remember, we only need one eighth of them. Let's start by separating them into eight oranges, but we only need one out of every eight. Eight more, and we need one out of every eight. Eight more, and we need one out of every eight. So we can say one eighth of 24 oranges is three oranges. So one eighth of 24 equals three. <laughs>